I have a flashlight problem. Now, I don't think it's a problem. Flashlights have saved my life. Flashlights have fed my family. Flashlights have grown this channel. But everyone seems to think it's a problem. Well, Olight is enabling that problem. In this video, we're gonna talk about a humongous sale, their Black Friday sale. I'm gonna give you all the details on the stuff that's available from Olight. Give you an overview of all the flashlights. You say I have a problem. I don't think I have a problem. I don't know what's in these, uh, except for in the case of the Odin Minis. I got those. I got a, those a little early. The Odin Mini is going to be on sale, and there's a limited edition gray. This guy is bad. Now I just did a whole video comparing the Odin Mini to a Surefire Light. I'll link that up there. You can go check that out. But that thing is sharp. It comes with an M-Lock mount. You have an optional Picatinny mount. It is a sharp light. I've already covered it in depth in that other video. This is a big box. Normally, Olight stuff is in small boxes. This is... Whoa! What is that? The Olight Marauder 2. And they even went like... Overlord font on the Marauder logo. 14,000 lumens? I'm not shining this in my face. I promise that. Oh, also, uh, Balder Pro, limited edition. Balder is uh, their weapon light. Also has a laser on it. We'll look at it later. Little poppy thing. Oof. Oh, lots of little ones. Something. Oh my. Now I am notoriously bad about missing things. This is all part of a uh, their Black Friday sale. I'll put a link down in the description below if you want to check it out along with some details. <gasps> Javelot Turbo. That sounds awesome. Then we got a lot of stuff to go over. That looks kind of nuts. The i5T EOS is like a, a task light, an everyday carry light. It's like a no limit soldier type of vibe to it. I don't know what you call this camo, but that's a pretty sharp light. I've covered this before. It's uh, you know, a decent little everyday carry pocket light. Um, you could hit with it. If it's pitch black, it would cause someone some discomfort, but it's not really like a tactical light, but that is a snazzy snazzy little tacky but i don't know if you listen to edm and you button tight button up shirts all the way up to the top that's kind of like what that seems like to me these two weapon lights um let's look at them this is the balder pro neat weapon light uh this one takes lithium batteries which it comes with a pair um you know i prefer rechargeable stuff but there is i always say there is something to be said for just having a pair of, ooh, ooh, we got light, and then we got laser light combo with 260 meters of throw, 1,350 lumens. That is freaking bright, but that is a bright laser. But this, the Balder IR is uh, a Balder light, but it also has uh, infrared output. That's that guy there. The Balder IR is capable of 1350, but it's also got, uh, let's see if we can show you. It's got a IR. There we go. Ooh, trippy. I wonder if I just fried my lens or something like that. Like I don't actually know how infrared works. I don't have any night vision goggles to test it out with. <clears throat> yet uh, any night vision goggle companies like night vision goggles for self-defense I can make a video on that won't be a very good one or one that makes sense but I can make a video on that that's a fact now these I'm not exactly sure what these are but if I had to guess it's something that I they know I already have some of and they're trying to save on the packaging because Olight is notoriously like extra with their packaging like the packaging probably cost them a lot so I think these are going to be things that I already have. Um, let's see what they are. Let's hope it's something good. This is a. This is something in the. 
um, like the the baton line. Are these warrior minis. These are warrior. Oh, that's a. Ooh, wowzers, wowzers! Eternal two O light. It's got a little infinity symbol. The little bumps, the bumps that are on regular low light turbo. This has um, been my everyday carry. I have it in camo. I did a video on that before. This is, I think, another one. I'll put a description down below. Oh, this one's not nearly as protected. Oh, but that is cool. This one's got a autumn too. So these are, they're essentially warrior minis. Why they're cool, why I think they make cool everyday carry lights is because they have uh, the tail switch, which has the magnetic charging thing that all Olight stuff has. But they have, I don't want to scratch this one up. These might make good gifts. Autumn 2 and Eternity 2. They're getting real, they're getting real artsy and emo with these things. But it's got the tail switch for like normal looking round light, turbo, which would be defensive like blinding light. But then it's also got a button for like, and you can program this. I like to keep this on this like super low mode. Let's see if that's the lowest. Yeah, that's the lowest mode and it remembers that. So if I want to like use it but not blind myself or give away my position in a tactical application, you know, or just like look in a notepad or find my keys, I would use that. And even if you're on that, if you get in a jam and you just jam this, you get the turbo. And that's like kind of how I think a defensive light should be, should, should be set up or uh, should be configured. I swear this one's heavier. This one has like a leaf symbol. Hope that's not something about Canadians. I don't know which one I want to open first. Uh, actually, full disclaimer, I kind of know what the Javelot is. I've had experience with one. They sent me a tester before. Yeah, so we'll look at that. It comes in a snazzy. Ooh, that is something else. That is a mighty device. It's designed for like long distance throwing. That's why it's got the big wide bezel here. That so what you'll see when I put this beam over on the wall, you'll see a, and I'll take this outside in a second. You'll see it it's be very it'll be very like concentrated. See that little hard little dot right there? That little hard guy? Okay, I just figured out if you hold it, you get this little super low light. If I click again, brighter, click again, brighter. Brightest, back to low light. You hold it down to turn it off, hold it down to put it on, and it likely remembers where it was in that cycle. That's a little interesting. That gives you an option if you're like out searching for someone at night, which let's go see what that looks like. That's a super tight beam, which could be a, a pro and a con, depending on what your application is. For a search light, like search, good lord. Y'all, I have checked a lot of lights out and reviewed a lot of lights and shined a lot of lights down this path right here. This light shines further than I can see. There's like no ambient light out here. This thing shines far. Now, you put that on someone's eyes right there if you were like searching for somebody and you still can see a little bit around them but this thing goes far now we need to see <clears throat> what this big bow hunking thing is all about i am actually super interested Fourteen thousand lumens i can't i don't like can, can that hurt a person can you kill a person with that much light like well can you feel that but it also, uh, it says it's a power bank, too. Woo! Oh, my. That's a fat thing. That's a fat little thing right there. I can't even reach my hand all the way around it. Um, what is that all about? I'm trying to figure out why this is a square. All right, so it's got a little di dial. It dims. God. Oh, look at that. That thing is, so that's all the way up is 14,000. I can't look at that. That's like looking in the sun. That's the, is that the flood? 
that's got to be the floodlight. So then switch. This is the spotlight. So I'm thinking, does that thing chuck that? That I guess it chucks this square beam like super duper far. But why is it square? The controls on this guy are pretty sweet. It's got a battery indicator like so, and then you turn it the brightness up with this guy. That's on that spotlight mode. Then you got a little toggle. You can switch to floodlight whenever. And again, you have your dimmable settings. That is pretty neat. And apparently it operates as a charging bank as well. So I turn it all the way up, right? If I put my hand on it, it turns itself down. That's crazy. So it like knows what you're up to. It knows if you're up to shenanigans. Yeah, that shuts it down. I guess that's a good thing. I wouldn't want to inadvertently hurt myself with the gear I review on this channel. Whoa, okay, so the Marauder has a strobe. This is floodlight. Highest setting, Whoa, there we go. This lights up my whole yard. And like we always say, lights don't come across really good on camera. This right here, like right here, this is like daytime. Let's check throw on this bad boy on floodlight. Oh, I can see plenty. This could like, you could have a party out here. It looks like it gets a little dark back there where the uh, power line is, but I can see well past that in person. But I see it looks dark on camera. Now let's go with the spotlight. Why is it square? That is so bizarre. I mean, there must be a reason for it. Ooh, ooh, there's a critter up there. Good Lord. This is crazy. I'm going to get in trouble out here. I got to go. But apparently it has a strap. How did I get the strobe? Maybe click a bunch? Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Great Guga Mooga, these things are bright. It doesn't make any sense how bright these things are. Uh, it's now a couple days later, actually, and we got something else. This came. This is another piece of the sale, I guess. This is the i5 UV. This is a, a UV everyday carry light. I don't know what the point of that is. Detecting counterfeit currency and pet stains. If you need to, if you need to check things with a UV light. I'm not doing that. I'm not shining a UV light and putting that on video because somebody will spot some shit in the background that I don't want them to spot. But these guys, these things are cool. This is a power bank. Uh, I don't know if I showed it like uh, you open it like that and you get a little charging port there. If you turn it way up, and you just sort of like, look, it just sort of auto corrects the dimness of something. Oh, God. That one would be good for like, camping and looking in your yard and partying and that it does have that long spotlight this one i think has like a little more like tactical application this can be weapon mounted they make a mount for it i don't think you're like shooting you know 400 yards in self-defense but there are some types of hunting where you're allowed to use a light particularly when it's like nuisance animals depends on your state and your laws look that up but uh if you were had to periodically look across the field, if you had a farm, if you're a bloodhound handler, uh, I would have liked to have had this when I was doing that. Um, and it's it's a formidable, uh, you know, stout little device that you could boonk somebody with. Every month, I kind of try to figure out how Olight is gonna like up the ante with their flash sales, and they they just keep they keep doing it. Um, these lights, I say, out of this. This lineup, the thing that I'm kind of the most excited about is the Odin Mini, which I currently have on my uh, main home defense weapon. The This stuff, these make great little gifts. The This right here makes great little gifts. And there's free stuff. Like when you order a certain amount, they give a bunch of free stuff. I don't, I'm terrible at the details of that. I'm going to put them down in the description below. Also, just go check out the sales. Just click the link and you can see it lays out for you. Like if you buy this, you get this for free and yada, yada, yada. The Balder is a great weapon light, and if you want the laser, now it's got a laser. And if you're into infrared, now it's got infrared. And uh, But they're good lights regardless. I'm going to use those anyway, even though I don't use those features. But these two gangsters right here, this duo, this like Laurel and Hardy thing going on here. This guy, I just don't understand it. I just don't look. You want to see it in the... I'll turn the lights off in here. 
What does it look like? It's like I could use this. Oh, there, I dimmed it. Now it comes back on. That's amazing. That's I think that's a safety feature. Put that over there. That wash got use this to light up a whole house. My whole house is lit. Oh shit, I gotta, oh wait. I'm in here trying to figure out how to turn on my lights. I just couldn't do that. I literally, there's literally lights everywhere. Um, I don't think I have a problem. I don't think this is a problem. I know you think it's a problem. Kristen thinks it's a problem. I don't think it's a problem. I'm just enthusiastic.